All right, everyone, today's video is on a strip down and clean up of the Bissell Pro Heat Essential Carpet Cleaner. I haven't cleaned this machine out, like done any maintenance on it in a very, very long time. I've had this machine for about two years now. Pretty good for being two. But we're gonna give this machine a really deep down thorough clean and a polish out. See, the bottom of this is really scratchy. I guess is what you call it because it's been used like it's been rolled outside and concrete has destroyed it we're definitely gonna need to sand this down yeah it's definitely gonna need some sanding all right exactly this is right here and it does something not sure what gonna take some time to take apart. Let's take the, remove the dirt tank. Let's remove the water tank. Yeah, you can see it's very hairy and dirty. Let's get a screwdriver. Let's grab a drill. Let's grab a drill to do this. Help save some time. to put on the drill. And you're going to start off getting this machine cleaned out. It's been a very long time since I've done much of anything on this carpet cleaner. So I'm expecting it to be pretty dirty. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. was covered in pet hair. Look at that. That's nasty. That's why I have the Dyson. Okay. Taking the brush assembly apart. Oh, God. This thing's really bad, isn't it? Okay. Say it's dirty, I mean it. Put the crunch tool on. screws right here. Move back a little bit. I don't really have space to move much farther back than where I am. So push some stuff out of the way. Jesus, that was fast. Slightly slower, but I do not want to strip any of these screws. Let's see what comes off when we do that. Just these brushes. I'm not sure how to disassemble this machine much farther than. I'm not even sure how to get this machine apart. I'm trying to get it as far as into the motor. It doesn't, this machine doesn't smell very nice. I'm really aiming. You can smell it. It kind of smells like old, just stink water. Pretty durable, pretty strong plastic they use. Here's the shaft and the belt and everything. I don't want to get this machine apart, but we're gonna get it apart somehow, one way or another. Alright, so ah, here we are. See, I told you this machine is dirty. When I say it's dirty, I really do mean it. It's pretty dirty. the 
V7 with me. It's so caked on there. It's dusty. It's dirty. Okay. Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. Alright, I wish I had an extender on my screwdriver with me up here. Do I? Of course not. Of course, you need something, but you don't have it with you. Where's my DeWalt screwdriver? That would be my really good one. I'm not sure where that is at this moment. Huh. I have my DeWalt screwdriver in this room somewhere. Huh. Weird. I can't oh, here's my other screwdriver. I have so much stuff on the floor in here and very little room to work with. I'll just have to use this screwdriver. It'll do good enough for now. So we're screwing there. No, there's not. I'm really interested to see what's inside of this machine. Good old lube up, clean out, get some of the odors out of it. That's one of the biggest things. It is really stinky. Alright, there's more screws back here. I'm not sure how many screws it's going to take to get this machine apart. Never taken apart. This will carpet cleaner before. So today is a learning experience for both you and I. This is why I need really better tools than this. I have another a better screwdriver head than this, but I have absolutely no idea where it is at this moment. Kind of have a tendency to forget where things are. There we go. Hope that's it. Are there any more screws necessary? Some extra light on the subject. Again, I'm not sure. How much farther? I'm not sure how to get it farther than where we are at this moment. Yeah, that's coming apart. That's good. Get the handle out. Just make sure there's nothing up here. I'm not sure how this machine goes together. Where the screws are. Those look like screws. No, those are not screws. No, those are screws. <sighs> Let's see. Does this piece pop off? It should. Well, this gasket comes off. Not very nicely, though. Kind of just ripped a little bit there, but that's why we have glue. Put the glue back into place. Not sure if this comes apart or not. I really don't. Ah, here we go. Here's more screws. Let's see if we can use the drill. No way. Are really tight, my god. My god, those are tight. Goodness. Wow. 
needs muscle to get those out. And this one right here, the screw. Ah, well that was easy enough. You just took the valve piece off. So here's inside the machine more. But we still don't have the machine apart completely. Ah, there we go. That's better. Here's our motor. And all the internals of this machine. It wasn't too difficult to take apart. Just needed just some learning, you know. Well, this thing is really dirty on the inside, isn't it? Attempt to completely take this machine apart as far as it can go. Let's use a flashlight and clean this thing out. Fill the hair and stuff in here. It's pretty freaking nasty. That doesn't want to come apart right here. Take that off. This piece should just pop out, I hope. Oh, yes, there we go. Filters out. Here's our motor. Okay, these come off pretty easily. So is that. <sighs> All right. Switch. Hmm. Well, let's try and get the motor off next. There's water in the tubes, so we're going to have some water on the floor. Water. My, my better screwdriver. It's ratcheted, which helps a lot. See the mechanism which switches the machine. Okay, that's how you get these off. So the motor is held in. Here is the pump for the solution. The solution spray. screwdriver. This is not being easy. This one right here especially is being a pain. Ah, found it. Well, here's our motor. Ew. Motor is wet. Gross. It's all wet in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, well, here comes this. why this is here exactly. Oh, 
That's cool. Ah, problem solved. Well, that's helpful. You can take the motor apart. Well, not apart, but you can take it off. I wouldn't call it the easiest thing in the world, but... Here's our Bissell motor. Here's the cooling fan in here. Here's the motor. It's all freaking nasty in there. I'm gonna see if I can take this apart. I'm definitely going to clean this motor out. So there's where 90% of the weight comes from. Now this thing is light as a feather. Okay, not as light as a feather, but it's much lighter. So now we can do some cleaning. We're going to take this machine apart completely. I'm going to say all of these tubes are going to be out. So let's continue on that. It's going to be a few days before this machine is done with its clean out. Basically, this whole bottom piece is going to be washed, like hosed out because it's, it's really nasty and smelly in here. You can see the pet hair and stuff all over this carpet cleaner. Bissell's knife to you and uses pretty similar screws for everything. Checking out the pump next. I'm glad you can detach the motor, so maybe if I ever need to replace the motor. I can buy another, a new one of those. I'm glad Bissell makes it relatively easy to just take this machine apart completely. So here's our pump. There's a piece of something right here. Of course, there's the screws are still holding on for dear life. Here's the belt, right here. Here's the pump. Here's the cord. Those are the locks. The hold it upright. There's all our tubes. This thing right here. Not sure how to take this apart. This may have to be. No. Let's see. Let's see how we take this off. Finally, we have the power switch. Not sure how to get how I'm going to be able to get this out. may be more difficult than I would wish. This is the last part. You can see all the water inside of here. Can't get 
enough light because my camera flash is being blocked by me when I try and get in front of it. So, I can't find my flashlight. I put it somewhere again. Just don't see it right now. So, it could be somewhere around here, really. I've lost the flashlight. I don't see where I put it. It's not here. Huh, weird. Is it under here? No. Back there? No. I'm not sure where the flashlight could be. It's a little too clear. Yeah, I don't know where that went. So it could be anywhere right now. Yeah, yeah. So whatever. Let's just see how this comes apart. I can see how it comes apart. supposed to do that. I'd have to have a pair of pliers, but I don't have a pair of pliers that small. Of course, this will make it literally impossible to get the handle off. You think you're done, but then something gets in the way. Actually, I might have a pair of pliers this small. I'm not sure if that's going to work, though. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get this apart now. There's basically no way. Oh, wait a second. I fix it kit is right now. I think it's out in the garage. I don't feel like going out there right now. Wish I could just disconnect these wires from it. But then getting them back on is even more difficult. Of course, this is going to make it literally impossible to get this handle off to disconnect these wires and get it apart. sure how I'm supposed to get this apart. Basically, there is no way to get it apart. You made it impossible.
Ooh, here we go. We're getting it. You got it. Almost. Made it difficult. But not impossible. And the switch is out. So now we have pretty much all washable components in here now. The reason why we need to take this out and these again no reason why we need to take those out. So we have a, another candidate for washing. Basically all these parts should be washed. So we'll go to the sink in just a minute and do that. is going to be washed. It's really dirty. It's in serious, serious need of some cleaning. Okay. Glad I could take that handle off and get the machine apart fully. Thanks for making that so difficult, this one. So I'll be back in just a minute so we can, uh, well, yeah, we also have this piece to wash. This, again, there's no metal on this either. Oh, it is really nasty in here, isn't it? All right, so we have that piece to wash and we have the other piece to wash. So um, I'm gonna pause it and go over to the sink. Well, actually, um, we're almost out of time, so um, I'm going to make a part two, actually.